Hey, I want to share my story with you in this video. So we're going to talk about how just creating one website has allowed me to have my dream career and support myself financially. And now this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a real world story. If you've been considering creating your own website, hopefully this video gives you real world encouragement or inspiration to go make something similar happen for yourself. If I can do it, I know you can do it. So here's my story. I had just graduated college and I didn't know what I was going to do for a career path, uh, but I had a lifelong dream of wanting to be a writer or an author. Uh, so I decided that I was going to write an ebook all about HTML and CSS. Those are the coding languages that all web pages are made up of. Uh, but I had no idea how to create an ebook. So I just started a blog and every time I wrote a few pages or a chapter, I would just post. So I was just sort of giving the ebook away for free page by page or chapter by chapter. Now I never finished writing that book. And obviously I had to find a job to support myself, but that blog or that website that I created stayed online in the background. And over the next year or two, people started leaving the most kind and encouraging comments. Uh, and it may not seem like a big deal to get a few comments, but I can't stress how meaningful those comments were. They literally changed the entire trajectory of my life. Um, because up until that point, I had a dream of being an author and teaching, but I had received no positive feedback. So I didn't know if the world would benefit from me being an author or teaching or if the world had a demand for me to do that. Uh, but those comments told me, yes, Brad, you can do this. There's people that will benefit. There's people that want this. So even though I had still made zero dollars from my website uh, and I had been working different jobs to support myself, the website was the highest quality gasoline to pour on the fire of me following my dreams. The website allowed me to be putting myself out there in the background uh, even while I continued to work normal jobs. Anyway, somewhere along the way, I started creating video tutorials and posting them to YouTube. And I wasn't making videos for YouTube or playing the YouTube game. I was posting the videos on my website almost as like a visual aid component to the ebook. So like little visual tutorials to go along with the ebook that I was giving away and blogging about. So the videos were hosted on YouTube, but I was like embedding them on my website and my blog. And then something started happening. People started leaving the most, again, encouraging and appreciative comments on YouTube. And now something really started to click for me. Another dream that I'd had since childhood was doing something involving video production for a living. Like the entire process of having an idea for a video in your mind and then actually bringing it to life, manifesting that video, that had always fascinated me. At this point, I still hadn't made a single dollar from my website or from YouTube, but now it was starting to click for me. I was genuinely helping people. People were genuinely appreciative and I was doing something that I loved to do. So even though the money wasn't coming in yet, I was like it, the formation of what I could do to support myself was starting to click. Like there was real world demand for this. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons of why you should build a website. It, it's just up in the background sort of testing. Does the world demand this? Is the world going to be appreciative of this? It allows you to test things even while you have a job. But let's fast forward a bit. I had my job, but in my spare time, I kept creating more and more YouTube videos and tutorials. And eventually I started receiving teeny tiny checks from YouTube. Uh, not enough to support myself, but enough that like every three months, it would pile up to be enough to pay like a couple of bills. And for someone who had never earned a single dollar, uh, you know, doing anything entrepreneurial before, this was thrilling. But even though it was thrilling, I still wasn't making anywhere near enough to support myself. So I had to keep a job and just let my dreams be dreams. But then, this is where the story gets interesting. In 2014, the perfect opportunity came my way. A website and company called Udemy saw my tutorials on YouTube and they emailed me through my website. I had never heard of Udemy at that point, so if I didn't have a website with a contact page where they could reach me, this opportunity would have never happened for me. Uh, so anyways, I talked to them on a video call and I was convinced that I was going to create my first premium video course, right? You're actually charging money for a product, my video courses. Now, when I launched my first course, or just in general, Udemy will not promote your courses for you unless their algorithm sees that you have an audience that is going to buy it, that is going to enjoy it and rate the course highly, like five stars out of five. Um, so this is where my website really saved the day. When I launched my first course, 
I used my website and my email newsletter to get a few sales. Now, I didn't make very many sales, but even just a tiny handful of sales signaled to you to me that this course was high quality, but it also, uh, you know, something changed in my mind. Like I realized for the first time, even though it was only enough money to buy like one meal, it was literal proof that I could do what I loved and I could earn money doing it. And again, without my website, I would have never, that never would have happened. Uh, so granted, it still wasn't anywhere near enough money to support myself. So I kept the job for another year or two. And around this time is when my YouTube channel started to really take off. It still wasn't making enough money. I mean, maybe I could pay like an electricity bill each month. But the sheer number of views and positive comments I was getting felt like a tipping point. And this is when I was finally convinced that I could quit my job and focus on creating video courses and YouTube full time. Through my job, I had stockpiled enough money to pay all of my bills for a few months and I just wanted to go for it. Like I wanted to pursue my dreams full time and take the risk, take the jump, take the dive and go for it. So I launched my second course again on Udemy, but Udemy will not promote your course unless they see that like your audience is buying it. So again, I used my website, I used my email newsletter that I built through my website to get, um, you know, at least a handful of sales. And then this is where the snowball effect really started happening. Udemy saw that my audience was interested in the course, so then they heavily promoted it to their audience. And this snowball effect, I just repeated several more times um, until I had maybe like four or five courses. And this is when I was able to truly not need a job anymore and I could just live my dream of teaching, helping people, video production, authoring outlines, you know, creating content, basically just what I had always dreamed about doing since I was a kid, creating videos, teaching, helping, but nothing lasts forever. And eventually my momentum on Udemy started to dwindle and I had to move on from Udemy and focus my time elsewhere in order to continue to support myself financially. Again, without my website and email list, I could not have done this. So my website with its contact form allowed all sorts of companies and opportunities to come my way. Uh, teaching engagements, offers to write books, job offers, sponsored YouTube video offers. And I think now you're starting to see how through all the ups and downs for me, the one constant has been my website. If I didn't have a website with a contact page and I only had a YouTube, I wouldn't have received those formal messages from formal companies and formal offers. If I didn't have a website, I could not have boosted my course's performance on Udemy with my you know, email list and website promotion. If I didn't have a website, I could not have survived the pivot you know, to Udemy, away from Udemy. If I didn't have a website, I never would have started making YouTube videos in the first place. If I didn't have a website, I would have never started writing my ebook and getting all that encouragement, which is what continued to drive me forward in the first place. And so for over a decade, my website is what has fueled my fire to chase my dreams. It's what's allowed so many opportunities to come my way. And it's just sort of the one platform that you yourself can own. So I have two pieces of advice for you. Number one, you need to create a website. And number two, you need to build an email newsletter list. Everything else is ultimately out of your control. And is owned by third-party platforms and social media companies and their rules can change. They can stop promoting you. The algorithm can stop promoting you. Uh, the companies can do things that make it almost impossible for you to reach the audience that you have on those platforms. Uh, but no one can ever take your website and your email list away from you, right? So it's not just about getting the opportunities in the first place. It's also about being able to withstand change and being able to pivot, having something that you own that a third party doesn't control. So if you've ever thought about making a website but you haven't yet, let this video be the turning point. Hopefully this has given you the encouragement and inspiration to go do it yourself. Now over the years I've gotten a lot of questions like, Brad, where do I start? How do I make my website? What web host do you use? And I guess, you know, this really wouldn't be a YouTube video without a little bit of shameless promotion. So for the last 19 years, I have used DreamHost to host all of my websites. There you see me in the bottom right corner. In the description and pinned comment for this video, if you use my link to DreamHost, that's the best way to help support my YouTube channel. I will receive compensation for sending new users their way. But really quick, I want to show you the exact plan that I have personally used for the last 19 years. 
So under hosting, we're looking for shared website hosting. That's the best bang for your buck, but there are still two different plans to choose from. So we see uh, this one, let me highlight it, shared starter, but then we also see shared unlimited. Do not sign up for this plan, the shared starter. Always, this is the one I recommend. This is the one I have used for the last 19 years, shared unlimited. The reason being is that the basic plan only lets you have one website. Shared unlimited lets you have an infinite number of websites. So you can spin up websites for your friend, your family, different clients. If you yourself have different business ideas you want to test, it's all included in the one affordable price. And you can also set up, you know, like your name at your.com email addresses, just almost everything you could think of is included in this one price. So this is what I always have my friends and family sign up for the shared unlimited. And again, using my link does help support this channel and it really helps me continue to make videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Uh, if you have any thoughts or questions about anything related to what we talked about in this video, just leave me a comment. Really, this is a stranger on the internet giving you permission. Go create the website. Whatever you're passionate about, let the website be your first step towards doing that for a living. The world can probably benefit from it. You can probably help people. There's probably a demand for whatever you're interested in or passionate about. Till the next time, take care, and I'll see you around.